This is the brand new Tier 9 German Premium Heavy, the Tiger Mouse. A vehicle's name that's honestly a little confusing to me because... Well, if it was based off a tiger, it would be a tier 7 heavy hull with a mouse turret, which honestly would be hilarious to look at. But this is more an E100 mouse, sporting an E100 hull and a mouse turret, but doesn't feature as much armor as the mouse on the turret, which I'll be showcasing in just a moment. In today's video, I will be fully reviewing this tank. We'll be going briefly over the statistics, talking about its gun, damage per minute, all the goodies there. We're going to talk about its armor profile, and then we'll make our way over into to some live gameplay to see how this vehicle does perform. I should mention that I do not have any field modifications for this vehicle, as I haven't played a single battle in it. Field mods are one of those things you're going to obviously accumulate over time, and uh, yeah, I don't have much time when I just got my hands on the vehicle. So if we make our way over to Google, we can take a look at the statistics that this vehicle has going for it with my current setup. I am running improved hardening. We have a gun rammer and vents, kind of the basic equipment there. Nothing special nothing bond or bounty we're running food as usual because you got to get that 10 percent boost and i have also put on brothers in arms smooth ride and snapshots so that we can get that little bit better accuracy so that's what we're running in terms of equipment dpm wise it sits at 2600 it's actually pretty solid for a vehicle that is a super heavy and uh, yeah i'm not going to complain 2600 is more than enough to whittle down our opponents especially because we have a pretty decent chunk of health at 2150 with our current loadout in terms of our dispersion and aiming time that is where this vehicle really shines 0.33 dispersion that is incredibly accurate for a german super heavy you pull out an e100 it's not going to be anywhere close the aiming time two seconds also pretty dang solid so in terms of the gun every single video i've seen on the vehicle everybody agrees the gun is really 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 good but it's in terms of the armor where people are like eh, it's not that good which we'll be taking a look at in a moment but yeah in terms of the gun really solid the dpm isn't anything incredible but it's good enough to get the job done it's got a lot of ammo you can deal 31,000 potential damage so overall stats for the gun pretty good mobility wise the tank has a top speed of 32 so it's not the fastest you will see some people running turbo or even grousers on it because grousers give you a bigger buff due to terrain resistance than turbo personally i'm not running either i don't really feel like i need a turbo on this vehicle it actually reverses fairly fast at 16 and its top speed is good enough for a german super heavy so instead i am going to be running obviously much better gun equipment to get the job done hopefully we got a lot of track health and this thing actually has decent traverse speed as we can see at 30 degrees a second although only 19 on medium Pretty much, this is average German super heavy in terms of mobility, with a fairly solid gun and a decent chunk of HP. It's really the armor that's going to make or break this tank, and this is what the armor looks like against an E-75's AP ammunition. Lower plate, weak as hell. 188 mils, wow, that is terrible. People have been telling me it's bad, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Essentially, to get bounces in this lower plate, you have to completely angle the sides to a point where you're just going to be pens there. And if people load premium ammo, you literally cannot get bounces in the lower plate. So, uh, yeah, in terms of armor, it's not very good on the lower plate. But the upper plate is incredible. It's 350. It's got the upper plate armor of an E100, but the lower plate armor of a shoe, which is really disappointing. But, yeah, even against premium ammo, that upper plate is going to be incredibly thick really nothing's gonna cut through it turret armor is interesting e75 has decent premium pen 311 and as we can see if angled properly the turret is about 317 thick you can get a little bit better 320 330 so it's actually a pretty solid turret if you angle it properly now up against tier 10s let's be real the majority of tier 10s are gonna butter right through this turret doesn't matter how much you angle it 350 heat is gonna basically ruin your cheeks so yeah essentially if you're up against something like a vk or any tier 10 just keep it at an angle like this 
don't poke your turret cheeks until you've shot or you're planning on trading with your opponents. The mantlet's super thick though, so you will get bounces there. Does have a hatch on the roof, but I don't think it'll be a super big weak spot just because of how tall it is, and it does have some weird auto ricochet angles on the roof. So overall, armor's pretty good. Against AP ammo, it's 300 thick, so you're going to get bounces all day long. People that don't load gold are going to bounce you. People that do load gold are going to butter right through, so I guess it's just another kind of pay-to-win style vehicle there, but I don't really think it's that busted. It is a German Super Heavy after all. It should have good armor. So, um, yeah, interesting overall stats. Seems pretty good, but it only seems good on paper. We're gonna have to see how it plays in battle. So, let's get in the queue. Well, here we are in our first game on Fjords. This is a decent map for us. We are in a pretty solid matchup, as we can see. So, um... I guess we'll find out how the game actually ends up going. All right, I don't know which way I want to go. What do they have? M103 T10, they got Tiger Mouse. Okay, well, I'm going to make my way over towards the docks because we're pretty slow, and I feel like that's probably the smartest decision we can make. Now, judging that, we're up against one, two, three Tiger Mouse. I am going to load premium ammo because it's probably a smart idea. We got an AE Phase 1 with that very, very nice camo. I really like that camo, to be honest. It reminds me, um, because I make World of Tanks Blitz content, reminds me of uh, one of the World of Tanks Blitz futuristic battle passes. So, it's kind of cool. With all the Tiger Mouses, I hope you all brought enough gold. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of gold. <laughs> we got 20 rounds, which should be enough. I mean, the Tiger Mouse also has a super weak lower plate, as we know. So, we'll see. We will indeed see. I am going to make my way over here. Don't think I'm going to be able to get a shell into the Cobra, but maybe, maybe, just maybe. Let's see. Um, no. Oh, wait, wait a sec. Ah, went above him, unfortunate. And we get hit by him, bruh. That's so lame. All right, well, there went uh, 430 of our health, unfortunate, but not much you can really do about that. Our Tiger Mouse went side on for some reason. All right, let's see. We got a enemy Progetto. Which we did get a nice slap into. I'm surprised that penned, because it was showing all red. But yeah, we got a pen out. Alright, sweet. This is where we're going to have to chill for now. m 3 is up against us. That thing obviously has a crap ton of pen. So I'm not even going to bother to uh, try and, like, side scrape against him. I'm just going to... There you go. Nice. Get a bounce on the side of our turret. This thing does feature pretty solid turret armor, but... Not exactly sure where we're going to be able to pen an M103, to be honest. Um, yeah, the answer is we don't. Well, let's see if we can maybe hatch a Tiger Mouse or something like that. Our our Tiger Mouse is playing very aggressive. Uh, interesting decision from our Tiger Mouse, to be honest. Hmm, not really sure if I agree, but... Yeah, he's just getting crapped on. There's not much we can really do about that. I'm just going to back up over here. Uh, we should be able to shoot over this side of the rock, if I'm not mistaken, so... I'm going to try and side scrape over here like this. Then we're going to see if we can get a shell into the uh, lower plate. There you go. Nice. 489 roll. All right. Well, uh, this is looking like a loss. I'm going to be honest. I can't back out of here because obviously I'm a German super heavy. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of death to be completely real. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's looking mighty susler. Well, we tried to pen the enemy Tiger Mouse. We angled at the right moment, though. Got a bounce from the M103. That M103 is just a serious problem. We can't dig him out. There's really nothing we can do to him. I mean, I'm obviously trying the best I can here, but... Oh, there you go. Nice. Tiger Mouse drives out in the open. We get a nice shot into him. I'm really... Me and the A Phase 1 are the only people holding this line at this point. But we're doing a pretty good job at it. Let's reload again. Let's aim it on the lower plate. The Tiger Mouse. There you go. We're up to 2,000 damage. Um... I'm really trying my best here, but there's only so much I can do. Good thing I'm running Gun Rammer, though. It gives us that little bit of extra DPM to pump out. All right. It's aiming on the Tiger Mouse. There you go. 550 roll into his vehicle. Ah, uh, but that M103 cut right through our turret cheek. Oh, boy. And then the other Tiger Mouse pens us as well. Oh, boy. And then we show our lower plate to the M103. Wow, that was uh, a disaster. Okay, well, I'm going to try and back out. But chances are we are dead. Well... We did pretty good, to be fair. I mean, there's not much you can really do when this is the uh, the team you get thrown. I mean, everything is falling apart over here. But we'll see. Maybe we'll bring it back. Maybe some of our teammates will start to use their HP. We only have 300 HP left, which is obviously not going to be too effective here. Uh, let's just keep on 
pushing this up, and I don't want to get shot by that Tiger Mouse, so I'm going to wait. We'll see. Our IS-3 drives up. As I said, that M103 is going to be the problem. I don't really think there's much we can do to that M103. Let's drive up, and let's see. All right, our A Phase 1 is going to side scrape it, and we're going to chill right here for now. I uh, will wait for my A Phase 1 to figure out what he's going to do, because I cannot cut through the... Uh, the player there, but nice, okay, he gets a pen, oh yeah, nice, 400, or 540 damage shot into the enemy tiger mouse, that player made a big mistake doing that, allowed us to cut through him, all right, well, I want to try and push this uh, dead hull up a bit more, so maybe we can get out some extra damage, let's see, keep on pushing, keep on pushing, nice, all right, this is obviously what we want, sweet, 240 damage shot into that enemy player there, you know what? We're starting to pick it back up. We're starting to pick it up. I'm hoping our AE Phase 1 gets a nice shell out. Looks like we're actually winning this, which is very surprising. Unfortunately, our teammate got finished off there. But uh, we should be okay in this situation. Let's aim it up in the Tiger Mouse. Unfortunate. All right, I'm going to load HE. I would expect an HE shell to be able to finish off that player. We do have intuition, so should be fairly easy. Let's just wait. And he shot... Let's load HE, and uh, let's see if this does do the trick. Let's aim in right at the hatch as well. There you go. HE, while nerfed, still is able to get out the damage. So not all too bad. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. The enemy Tiger Mouse did shoot, so we're going to aim in on his vehicle. And we're going to have to get our intuition. No! Unfortunate. Oh, you know what? He might just drive up, though. All right, we'll see. We will indeed see. Um... While this player may have no camo, I still don't fully trust him. Uh, come on. Come on, poke me your turret cheek. Come on. He's so close. Ah, unfortunate. All right. Uh, oh, they still have the other Tiger Mouse here. I did not see that player. And I think he just hatched us. You know what? Good shot. Good shot from Devastation there. I'm very surprised. I didn't even see him. He must have came all the way back. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. To be fair, I think we played that pretty well. We bled a bit of health early game, uh, but we were able to bring it back late game. It's just a bit unfortunate that the unspotted Tiger Mouse came out of nowhere and was able to uh, finish us off because we were doing a pretty good job. Unfortunately, it was a defeat. We did pretty good, to be fair. 3,500 damage, which was substantially higher than the next best on our team, especially if you compare it to the heavies. But yeah, unfortunately, our armor just didn't hold up long enough. If we got a couple more bounces here or there, we definitely could have been able to win that game, though. Really, that M103 was the major problem. The thing has so much penetration with its heat rounds, and obviously heat cuts through angled armor like no tomorrow. So yeah, holdout tanks, especially something like the M103, is going to be a massive counter to a vehicle like the Tiger Mouse. You're not going to be able to do much against a tank that can just load gold and pen you when you're not going to be able to do much in return. The other Tiger Mouse definitely was a problem, but he wouldn't have been as much of a threat if the M103 didn't pen us probably two or three times. So a little unfortunate. Either way, we did a solid job, and I think that first game showcased really a lot of the strengths and weaknesses the vehicle has. It's got really good armor, but only against vehicles that don't have enough pen or aren't loading gold. Once you start loading premium ammo, you can cut directly through the tank. It was really unfortunate. I think that we got hatched by that Tiger Mouse in that final shot there, because we were doing pretty well, but uh, yeah, unfortunate for us. Here we are, second game on Paris. Pretty solid map, and we are up against tier 10s, and not nearly as many Tiger Mouse, only one. Well, that's good. Maybe people aren't liking the tank too much. I actually think it's pretty fun, to be completely honest. I can't say it's anything overpowered, but it feels pretty strong. So, we'll see. We'll see what we're able to do. Obviously, we're going to head over towards heavy side. We're going to load in some gold ammo because they do have some pretty strong tanks. They got a mouse, 57 heavy, although the 57 doesn't feature too much armor, but they got a Yag. Um, they got some pretty strong vehicles, so I'm going to load gold. It's always a good idea to load gold, especially when you don't know what you're going to fight. All right, well... Again, I don't really feel like you need turbo on this tank. I mean, people might say otherwise, but it's fairly fast for a super heavy. We just need to get into the front line, but I need to aim across. Unfortunate. It's always worth a quick shot, though. We actually actually could have hit him if I... You know what? We still might be able to hit him. Let me back up really quick. We should easily be able to hit this. All right, aiming. 
chunk. There you go, 530. Yeah, I was gonna say, we actually could have shot him twice. I was like, huh? Okay, well, since our whole team's gonna go low, I'll go up top. I don't love going up because of the fact that people can poke you over here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, let's get into a side scrape right here. Got an enemy Fosh off to our side. There you go, nice shot. Oh, we got a bounce. Okay, sweet. Oh, but we got a 57 heavy on us. That's not exactly what I want. All right, let's just get into a proper side scrape here where we're not going to be penned. Bruh, where? Where did we get penned? Great example, though, of the armor on this tank. Once you fight tier 10s, definitely feels a heck of a lot less useful. Unfortunate. Was hoping that would pen. Well, we're not doing bad, but I don't even know where the 57 Heavy is. He's probably behind that line of bushes. Oh, there's an ST1. All right, let's reload. Good thing we got our uh, rammer on. Easy shot into the ST. Nice 476 roll, and he got absolutely crapped on. Looks like our teammate may have double shot him, but I'm not going to complain. We're going to reload here. One more second left. I don't know if the ST1's going to try and side scrape against us, so I am going to back up just a little bit. Let's get into a proper side scrape. Let's see. Is the ST1 going to poke us? He does. We're not able to pen him apart from the lower plate, but we hit the lower plate, so I'm not going to complain. We're over 2,000 damage now, and my ST2 learned his lesson. Yeah, they got a lot of tanks camping back there, bro. Like, a lot of tanks camping back there. Not able to get a shell. Ooh, almost. Almost a, almost a shot into the prog. Okay, well, I'm not worried about the ST1 at all. I mean, if he pokes me, I'm just going to eat GM anyway. Um, let's see, anybody back here? Nope. But the Progetto hits us, unfortunate. All right, well, we're doing fine. I'm just going to hold. We still have 1,100 health left, which is more than enough to get the job done. The problem right now is we're not able to spot anything back there, especially that Progetto. Uh, but the Tiger Mouse does shoot at my teammate. We're going to aim it on the prog. Bonk 557, yeah! I'm going to be real. I really like the gun on this tank. Let's angle. Perfect. Okay, teammate finishes him off. Looks like this Tiger Mouse is going to pull up a bit. We're going to get into a side scrape. Maybe we can get a pen into the 57. Aiming. Oh, really? Really? We hit the wall? I don't even know how we hit the wall. That's so annoying. All right. Well, the 57 shooting at my teammate. He's on reload now, so we should be able to get easy pen into the side of the 57. There you go. Nice 520 slap into his vehicle. We're over 3K. We're doing pretty good, to be honest. I'm glad I went up here. I normally don't like to go up to the spot, but uh, yeah, it's working out pretty well. All right, let's reload. We got the prog. There you go. Another nice shot. Not really sure why that Progetto is poking me, but um, I'll take any free damage I can get. We're up to 3,700 now. All right. Um, 57 heavy is definitely going to be a big threat. And yep, goes right through me. Oh, my. Not even spotted again. Just right through the bush the first poke was uh yeah there's not even anything to say just unfortunate that <laughs> that's that's the best description i can give unfortunate all right teammate finishes off my teammate all right let's see tiger mouse should be on reload aiming just gonna aim it on his lower plate we're not really time limited here so we can just get an easy shot out problem is our team has fallen apart quite quickly and uh yeah this is not looking like a win gonna be honest well, let's uh, get in the side scrape. Yeah, unfortunate. That is the problem, though, with the Tiger Mouse. Like, the the gun is great. Don't get me wrong. The gun's super solid. And the armor is, is really the letdown I'm seeing here. I mean, I could have, I guess, side scraped, but I just don't see any world where that 57 would have bounced me. Uh, and if I had taken, you know, if I'd waited, we would have just gotten flanked. So we really had no choice but to try and snap that 57 heavy. We did a good job, though. We did 4,200 damage. So even though we have two defeats here, we did a lot. Um, really, the only misplay that I had was I thought the 57 heavy would have gotten spotted when he poked. And uh, turns out he was behind double bushes. So he was able to get 800 damage into us. That was really... That was a big downside. We could have done an additional 500 if that hadn't happened. But still, we did good. 4,200. I would expect that to be top on the team. As we can see, it was unfortunately a defeat. But I don't think there's really anything we could have done about this loss. We just were not able to hold back the entire enemy line. If we take a look at our score, let's see. Yeah, I mean, we did top on the team in a tier 9 which is pretty good. I mean, our ST2 could have helped us win big time if he didn't drive out sideways and lose all of his health, which is really unfortunate. But yeah, our, our whole team uh, 
they they kind of just pooped it a bit. So, oh well. But we did 4,000. I can't complain. We got top on the team. We almost did more than the majority of the enemy team as well. So overall, I would easily say that this is a pretty fun vehicle. I don't know if I would put it as high as like Quickie Baby did. I cannot say that this is a super duper strong tank. I mean, the gun's good. But I feel like any time you fight tier 10s, which is going to be at least 50 to 70% of the games you play, you're just going to get buttered through. But I feel like it's a fairly well-balanced tank. I would give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. Its gun feels nice, especially the accuracy, super solid. I have no problems with the gun, and I don't think any YouTuber has problems with the gun. I think it's more just the armor isn't as effective as it could be i'd like to see the turret cheeks more probably around 320 thick especially if you're gonna have that hatch on the roof and such a weak lower plate but apart from that i think it's pretty well balanced it's a solid vehicle and yeah i don't really have any major complaints about it i'll definitely be messing around with it more this week so hopefully you enjoy today's video let me know if you agree or disagree with my opinion on it and i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye